Well that's about six seconds between drips and that's about as slow as I can get my uh, homemade lash up uh, calc dripper uh, to do. Um, what we have is a container from Wilkinson's about four pounds. The top lid has a seal around it and you release it just by pulling up the acrylic handle and you can lift it off like that and it will seal by pressing it down either way. I think it probably would seal the container if you knocked it over accidentally but I wouldn't be putting any great pressure on it. So I'll just take that off and show you what I've done here. Uh, pretty simple, there is just a uh, acrylic tube and um, a tap from, well, I think it was RO Man. It goes up into a 90 degree elbow and then there's a bulkhead. I've added rubber washers to the bulkhead on either side and on the other side which is the vent you can start the siphon just by blowing into the tube here. I may even add a bit of flexible tube so it's more easy to uh, to get to. And that's pretty much it. Uh, depending on the lid you're using, you could put these bulkheads just through the lid and of course they wouldn't then need the, uh, the rubber washers on them. But I wanted to go through the side of the container so I did need the washers. Uh, because of the sealing nature of this lid, it just literally pulls in this sort of silicon uh, skirt that's around the edge and just grips around the, the top. Um, and that's pretty much it. The, the tube I've put inside all the way down and left uh, quite a good gap at the bottom. It probably could have gone a, a little bit lower but uh, when I stir the calc up it'll settle quite quickly. Uh, what I intend to do now is just measure the how much we actually can use from the bottom of the pipe right up to where I fill it up which is uh, just about here at this level. Once I know uh, what, uh, what volume it can contain uh, I can then set it to dose you know accordingly I suppose we lose through evaporation about a quarter of a litre every few days uh, something like that sometimes up to half a litre um, what I will do is on the top of the Kent marine tank that we've got where the right hand fan cover is when as you know I'm not using the fans on it anymore I'm going to sit this so it is just over part of the fan cowling and I will drill a hole through the fan cowling and straight through the perspex of the lid and then this tube will just go straight in to just above the tank water and it can just drip in uh, from there. Um, so that's it really, I'm obviously going to have to trim this up to suit. I haven't just checked it out on the uh, on the tank yet. I just wanted to make sure that you can set this running okay just by putting the lid on, making the seal and then blowing down into the tube to start the siphon off and uh, obviously we can I'm going to think of some way to fix this in place so I can't do it very easily with one hand not that you'd ever need to but I'm going to think of some way to uh, secure that and uh, as you can see it will run out like that and um, if you should lose the siphon all you need to do is blow through there start the siphon and then adjust the flow uh, accordingly so a nice simple uh, calc dripper would have been nice if the lid was in black to match the wallpaper behind the tank and the black of the tank itself but you know it looks fairly neat so I'm not going to be too worried uh, about that. So yeah just some measurements to uh, make see how much we can actually hold in there from the maximum to the bottom of that pipe where it will stop working 
and uh, a few holes to drill. Uh, talking of holes, this uh, is quite fragile, quite brittle, this acrylic, uh, but I just used uh, a normal, uh, what was it, a wood drill and then a 17mm flat wood bit to uh, to go through it. With the acrylic you'll find it will melt if the drill is too high a speed. So if you keep the speed down uh, it will go through quite slowly and uh, quite nicely. And if you don't happen to have the right size, if it's a fraction tight, I think this one was a little bit tight, this one went in perfectly, you can just put the drill in, again start it slowly and just angle the drill around so you just take a little bit more of the plastic out and uh, well that was about it really so maybe that'll be useful for someone in the future I've also ordered a peristaltic pump from China or Hong Kong one of those and that should be here over the next week or two and I'll probably end up making my own auto top off unit uh, because we do need to go away for a few days from time to time and I want as much as this to be automated as possible but I did want to start buffering up the pH with this so yeah that's it hope that was uh, useful to anyone considering a homemade dripper as you can see that stopped and if we look at the level that is uh, yeah, right at the bottom of the pipe. So I'll just see if measure with a jug how much it takes from uh, from there to the top and I'll know exactly how much I'm dosing each day. Okay, catch you later.